hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to integrate the Razer pay payment gateway in our laravel e-commerce so previously we had seen how to place order so this is like the cash on delivery so once you press the place order it will be reflected in your my order section and the order will be placed so now we are going to see how to make the pay with Razer pay so online payment we are going to integrate this Razer pay payment gateway in this so for that let us start with adding a button over there so you have place order right I'll just add a text over here COD so that is cash on delivery and btn dot btn this will be the pay with rather pay button so I'm going to say btn primary with 100 save and refresh and require some margin say margin top 3 and this place order I will make it to BG success so you can differentiate easily so here it is pay with Razer pay so once we click this button we need to validate this thing order placed successfully why is it so ok so we need to give button type equal to button so the form got submitted over there button type equal to button yeah now you just add a product to your cart and go to your checkout page so here when I say pay with Razer pay I have to check this form validation so for that we'll just give a class for this button so say Razer pay button copy that and we'll create a new checkout.js file so inside your front end js create a new file called checkout.js here we'll say jq doc and jq click so with a dot paste the class name so on this click we are going to validate those fields so before that we will just add this in our main file the layout file and here it is just copy and paste the above thing and change that file name to checkout.js so it is inside your frontend js checkout.js done so I'll close this file and here let me say alert hello and we'll check if this button is getting properly clicked and reaching that JS so I click and we have got it so now we are going to give the class names for this input boxes and we will take that value so for that we'll go to our checkout blade and here I'll just zoom in and you can see this class we have form control and we have the name attribute so what we are going to do is that name attribute we are going to give it in the class or you can give a different class name it's not a problem like first name and here we'll give the last name email on the phone address one address two city state country and the pin code so now we need to create the variables for this so what I'm going to do is let me just select this form control so press control D and select all of them and I will just copy this class names and go to my checkout.js and paste it over here so say var equal to jq 
val get so here the class name give dot and we need to paste this things so this is the class name right if you remember we just gave it in the input tags so this value so what we have done is the first names value we have stored it in this variable and similarly for everything we have done so now we are going to give a if condition here if first name and give a not symbol in the beginning so if it is null this thing is going to execute i'll just come and remove this hello and here what we are going to say is f name error equal to within double quotes say this field is required or you can say first name is required and here we are going to say jq html set here we are going to give an id and say the same name we will copy and say f name error dot html first we will set it to null and then we will send this string copy that and paste copy this id so just remember this is an id not a class okay so we have given hash over here and below this thing you can see this is the first name right so give us span tag with an id of what we just copied so first name of error and yeah so if it is null so that what if it is not true if it is not set then this thing we are setting else copy this thing and paste over here so this message nothing will be so we're just removing it so no message and this thing that id we are setting the message to null so if the user has not filled right so this thing will be so as soon as he fills and submit this will remove that error message over there so let me show you we'll refresh and i remove the first name and when i click on pay with razor pay you can see first name is required and when i just enter some value and click that message is gone so similarly we need to do for all the fields so i'll just do that and get back so i have done with all these fields and i have added the span tag in all the things and here i have given text danger class so it will appear in red color so let us test it now refresh and i'll remove the phone number and address i have given this thing in the id so we need to give this in the class right the so text danger is a class so just select all of them control x and say class and paste that and refresh so you can see you see first name is required phone is required and let me get the address as null so it says these things are required so refresh and when you click like this you can see if when everything is satisfied there is no errors so now let's go to the checkout.js so here once all is done we will give an if condition if the i'll just open this file in the other half take if first name not this one yeah if first name is equal to equal to null and not equal to null not equal to null or the l name error is not equal to null is not equal to null so similarly we need to do for everything so i will just complete this and get back so here i just finished with all these fields so we have given everything over here so if you have any fields optional over here then you no need to check that 
so if any of this is having an error message we are going to return false else we will have our code over here to insert the order with razor pay payment gateway so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to do the validation as the video is getting too long so we will do the integration in the part b of this series so thank you for watching this video guys so please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you